Hey guys, yours truly, Kevin Grace. I'm here in Seattle, Washington at Lakeview Cemetery, paying my respects to an actor and martial artist whose career spanned seven decades. That man, John Saxton. If you remember the karate movie that came out in 1973, Enter the Dragon with the great Bruce Lee, he was in that movie. Actually, he had uh, two roles in 1954 in A Star is Born and It Should Have Happened to You. He was uncredited in that, uh, but he had so many other roles as well. In 1962, he had uh, a role in a movie called Agostino, and that was an Italian film. He was fluent in uh, Italian, and he wound up doing that movie. Uh, I remember seeing him in uh, a couple of old um, Gunsmoke uh TV series. He was the bad guy, and uh, he was in other uh, Western movies as well. He also was in um, a couple of West Craven movies like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and uh, A New Nightmare, and he was in Dutch Till Dawn. But anyway, he passed away at age uh, 83 in 2020. Now, if you notice my shirt here, I've got the kind of it's like the poster of the. Uh, enter the dragon he courses on here right there but uh, I would have loved to have met him he was living in Nashville and I figured for him to come all the way out of here it had to be very close to Bruce Lee that was uh, evidently they were close and I'll show you where Bruce Lee's grave is it's just a hop skip and a jump right from here but uh, anyway um, so much history with uh with uh john saxon actually his original name was carmine orico and uh, a talent agent henry wilson wound up changing it to john saxon and he was discovered when he was uh 16 years of age but anyway he's buried right here and um this beautiful headstone and his wife put on here always in my heart his wife gloria so he's buried right there and like i said bruce lee is buried right over here not far away so if you do come here you can pay your respects to both folks so that's bruce lee and brandon lee's grave right there and like i said it's a hop skip and a jump but yeah he passed away in july 25th 2020 if you like this video, please subscribe down below and feel free to leave any comments about John Saxton. Actor John Saxon, known for his work with Bruce Lee in Enter the Dragon and appeared in three Nightmare on Elm Street films, sadly died over the weekend at the age of 83. Saxon's wife Gloria told The Hollywood Reporter that the actor sadly died of pneumonia in Tennessee on Saturday. An Italian-American from Brooklyn, Saxon played various characters during his long career, even earning himself a Golden Globe win for his portrayal of a brutal Mexican bandit opposite Marlon Brando in the 1966 film The Appaloosa. Saxon first gained notice for his performance as a disturbed high school football star who taunts Esther Williams in 1956's The Unguarded Moment. In the film's credits, he's billed as the exciting new personality John Saxon. Saxon also starred opposite Bruce Lee in Warner Brothers' Enter the Dragon, Lee's first mainstream American movie and last before his death at the age of 32, where Saxon portrayed Roper, a degenerate gambler who participates in a martial arts tournament. Saxon later spoke about his time working with Lee, saying that Lee, quote, took me seriously. I would tell him I would rather do it this way, and he'd say, okay, try it that way. The late actor also appeared in three Nightmare on Elm Street films, appearing in the first and third films in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise as cop Donald Thompson, where he's eventually killed by Freddy Krueger's skeleton, but makes a reappearance as a version of himself in 1994's New Nightmare. His long film resume also includes co-starring alongside the likes of Sandra D in 1958's The Reluctant Debutante and Clint Eastwood in 1972's Joe Kidd. Saxon is survived by his wife, son, and sister. Memorial contributions to his name can be made to the Motion Picture and Television Fund. For more on this story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy. Um, when, I, when I got the, to, to Hong Kong, uh, I was there with my wife and my son, who's not yet two years old, and the next day I went to see Bruce, and uh, he brought me into his house. He was waiting to see me, and um, 
we walked in, and I walked in to his house, and then I saw he had uh, a gem. Uh, and, and I looked at it and it reminded me of what I had a little bit of at my home, you know? And we began to talk this and that, and he was telling me things, uh, the, what he could do with kettlebells and stuff, and things that I had little con contact with at that time. And we, we kept going on and on and on, and then all of a sudden he, he began to tell me, um, show me, uh, show me how you do your sidekick. And I said, okay, but I had done a scene uh, at the park about a, two, uh, three weeks or four weeks prior where I had strained my, my ankle. And I said, oh, well, I'm, all right, he's wanting to do this for me, I'll do it, you know. So um, uh, all of a sudden, uh, I, I threw a kick. And then he said, let me show how I do mine. And he did. <laughs> he, he moved around with a chair. And I didn't know what he was doing, you know? I was looking over his shoulder like that. And all of a sudden, he stood in front of me for about 15 feet or something like that. And he did a hop, skip, and a jump. And hit out of back, you know? And he knocked me clear across on my heels, like this, going into a chair like that. And the chair fell down and broke. <laughs> and I, I got up and, and I saw he was very kind of quiet and, and anxious about this. And I said, listen, uh, it's okay. I mean, uh, I didn't get hurt. I didn't get hurt. He says, I, I know, but that's my best chair. <laughs> and it was the same chair that he had everybody else do the same thing with me that I discovered later. You sit behind, you stand behind it, and then he'd kick, and you'd go back and boom. And I had broken it. I was the only one that had broken it. Okay.